A lot of accusations flying here. We want to take a closer look at this hospital bombing, including what is next in the search for answers. We brought NBC Stephanie Goskier look at and, and really walk through the specifics, and we'll go through each side. Yeah. The Israeli Defense Forces put out an array of what they call evidence this morning, demonstrating that it was not Israeli airstrikes, but rather a, a, a competing Islamic group that led to this explosion. Uh, that's right, Savannah. And it's really important to point out right out of the gate that we as journalists aren't in Gaza. We are not allowed in there. We can't look at some of these claims firsthand, and particularly when it comes to the kind of damage that's done. And if we look at what the IDF is saying, the Israeli military, there are a number of points, and, and the damage is really among those points. They talk about the fact that it wasn't a direct hit, Israelis say. It was actually more the parking lot, and that there there wasn't peripheral damage around the buildings that would suggest it was an IDF missile strike. They then go on to say that a missile strike from the IDF would, would make a crater, a significant crater, um, between, they say, 22 to about 60 feet or so, and no crater there exists. We, we have seen in the images that have been shown a, a small crater, and you can see here, the, this is the size of the craters from, from their previous attacks. Um, and, then, and then finally, they point out that Hamas, they say, realized early on that this was Islamic Jihad and then decided to go on a global media campaign to say it was the Israelis and, according to the IDF, even inflate the casualty numbers. Okay, so now let's do the flip side, because obviously the Hamas says it wasn't Islamic Jihad, it was the Israelis. Okay, and this is what makes this so difficult, because they say, look at the damage, which is exactly what the IDF says, and they say the damage is significant. And and beyond that, they say that they were there was a warning that went out by the IDF to, to flee the area and the hospital specifically right before the attack. They also say that the angle of the bomb, the way that it came in, and the amount of damage was done that was done um, makes it at least suggest that it was an Israeli attack. And then finally, um, they point out that in the past, the IDF has characterized incidents and had to walk them back, specifically the killing of a Palestinian journalist who the IDF originally said was shot by Palestinian militia. Instead, it turned out that it was the IDF. Again, we can't be there on the ground to verify either of these claims. We are beholden in this situation to interpretation, Savannah. Yeah. In the case of the Palestinian journalist, the IDF later came and said, in fact, it was, it was, it was our forces Israeli sometime forces. later. Okay. Yes. Stephanie, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.